Hi there, I'm Sam, and today we're going to take a look at MetaTailor and how I use it with my MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5. MetaTailor is a 3D software that allows you to rig any 3D wearable, such as clothing, to any 3D bipedal avatar, such as a MetaHuman. I use it to rig custom clothing assets to my MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5. And today we are going to take a look at how that works. In the beginning of this video, I'll talk a little bit about my own experience with 3D clothing creation, and I'll also tell you where to source any 3D clothes from if you're not a skilled 3D clothing artist. Um, if that is not of interest to you, I will drop the timestamp for the start of the actual tutorial right here. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, so the very, very first thing we want to do is find clothing to dress our metahuman with. You can create the clothing yourself, of course, um, in any software that you see fit. I think Marvel's designer is probably the most obvious uh, one to go to for creating clothing. I have uh, created clothing in Marvel's designer myself in the past uh, for my digital fashion show last year. Um, I do, however, think that the um, quality that I'm able to deliver doesn't always work well with metahumans because the you know metahumans have this very very realistic quality to them and I think I still have a lot of work to do in Marvel's designer however when I'm creating a scene like the clothing for me is not the main focal point necessarily it's it's cool what you can do with meta tailor and I, I love to use it but the clothing is like one of the building blocks and I don't aspire to create everything myself. I am a lighting artist, cinematographer, kind of environment artist. Um, I just want to put cool stuff together and I don't aspire to create everything myself, even though some people might think that that's what you have to do. Um, <laughs> um, so when it comes to metahuman clothing and dressing them in Meta Tailor, I just go to the art station marketplace and I search for outfit or clothes and there is a myriad of options to choose from, and it's all very, very affordable. And keep in mind, if you buy these outfits, you're supporting artists that actually very, you know, know very well what they're doing um, and have very good quality. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using um, this girl's outfit made by Zara 3D. I've already bought a few outfits from this person. I think she has amazing quality. Um, and this is what we will be working with for this tutorial. All right, so what I get when I download this outfit from ArtStation is this nice folder with all of these assets in it. Um, I've got that thin and that thick uh, exports from Marvel's designer, got them in as FBX and OBJ, and we also have the Marvel Designer project file. So if I open that up, you'll see that this is the outfit that we will be working with. To use this for Meta Tailor, what I want is I want uh, to have these three uh, parts, the jacket, the top and the pants, I want to have them separately. So the best way to do that if you have access to Marvel's Designer is to export them here separately. So I'm gonna select the um, jacket and the top, gonna delete them, and then we have the pants separate. So now I'm gonna go to File, Export, FBX. Um, I already have them separated here, but I'll, I'll save this as pants two, pants two. Then this export window is going to pop up and I want to deselect, select all avatars because I only want to export the clothing. And then I will select thick here. I'm not gonna do any simulation with the garment. I'm gonna rig it to the meta human skeleton. You can export the uh, texture maps, but you don't necessarily have to. And I'll press okay. If you don't have access to Marvel's Designer, uh, you can also separate the outfit in Blender. So I've imported this model into Blender. And what you can do is if you go to edit mode, uh, you can start selecting parts of it to control L. 
Uh, so you select the connected. Depending on how complex the model is, it might take a while. <laughs> but you could do it in Blender. You could definitely select everything in Blender and separate it that way. Once we have all those clothing parts separated, uh, we need to make sure we have a model to rig those clothes to. So in Unreal, I'm going to create a new empty level. So I'm going to create this basic level. And I'm going to delete the player start, save it, um, call it meta human export. And I'm going to drop my meta human in here. When we have our metahuman inside of Unreal, we can zoom in and have a look. Um, so the key is when creating your metahuman and metahuman creator is to not give them any clothes. Um, just choose none and you'll get the underwear. When it comes to shoes, you cannot choose to not have any shoes. So once in Unreal, what you want to do is open up the uh, metahuman blueprint, which you can do by, you know, selecting them, pressing these blue letters, edit blueprint, and then uh, select the feet, go to skeletal mesh asset and press clear, and then we'll compile the blueprint. Important is to select your metahuman and make sure that the location and rotation are all set to zero. And then we'll go to file, export selected and then we will find a place on our computer where we can save that model to and then for the export settings we'll turn all of these off and then click export once we are in meta tailor we want to import our meta human to start adding those clothes so we'll go up here to import Avatar and we'll search for our model, open it into Meta Tailor. You can assign materials to it, but I'm not going to do that at this point. I'm just going to go next step. And then you'll get all of these markers on the mesh, right? When you import a Meta Human, these markers are almost always correct, except for the nose tip and the skull crown make sure to adjust them from both the side and the front view. All right, once that's done, we'll go next step. So we now have our meta human available in Meta Tailor to start rigging those clothes on. If I go to avatars, you'll see that I already have a bunch of different avatars loaded in. Um, you just search for, uh, you know, the correct name that you gave your avatar. For me, it's this one, and then we'll import the clothes. So I'll go up to import, and instead of avatar, now I will go to cloth slash accessory, and I'll go to that folder where I have these separated garments, and I'll start with the pants. Once it's imported the pants, you could already assign it some texture maps. I'm just gonna try and give it a color. Uh, I have the texture files in here. We'll see what fits. If it's this, I think it's this one. You could already assign all other material maps to this pants. I don't need that at this point. What I want is to have a different color between the garment and the model. Um, then you can choose um, as what kind of garment you are importing this. Um, I will be importing this, of course, as a uh, pants. We'll do next step. And then you can move scale and rotate I think it needs to be a little bigger. So this will rarely fit perfectly straight away, but if I click confirm and then go to post match, I can now match my meta human model, the avatar, with the pants. So it is intersecting at some points, which isn't that much of a problem. It's more or less fitting right now. So I will uh, hit confirm and press next step and now it's going to rig the pants to the model. Et voila! The pants are now rigged to our metahuman. Next we will import the top. Um, so I'll go to import, 
plot slash accessory. I'll navigate to that um, folder where I have these garments separated. Go to the top, open. I also want to give this a color so it has a different color than the meta human. Yep. Next step, I will import this as a shirt. And then next step, I generally like to not scale these things up too much because if you scale them up too much, you might have the idea like, oh yeah, then, then at least you know the model is not clipping, but I do feel like the the clothing is then like floating above the surface of the the the, the methuman mesh a little bit, which is not really what you want. So let's let's settle for this, and then in the pose match, let's see if we can uh, fit her into that a little bit more. That's fine. Confirm. And next step. And now the top has also been fitted. I will now do the same exact step for the jacket as well. Something really, really cool with Meta Tailor is that you can layer your clothes. So now I have uh, I have these shoes here, and I layered them on top of those pants. So as you can see, that mesh of the pants has adjusted itself to fit in the shoes. Whereas if I would uh, put the pants over the shoes, then the pants will go and fit themselves over the shoes, <laughs> which looks a little weird. So I'm gonna keep it as, you know, what it was. I'll, I'll also show it what happens if I would um, tuck that jacket maybe into those pants. So it would layer the pants on top of that jacket. So it's gonna think for a sec. Yeah, it's gonna tuck it into uh, the pants. So this this may not look very good in this instance, but there are a lot of cases where this uh, is maybe exactly what you want it to be. So this is a very cool uh, feature. Once you're ready and happy with the clothes you created, you can go to export and you can choose a file location and name for your model. And the important thing is that we want to uncheck avatar from the export. We'll uncheck that and then press export. We are now ready to import our clothing into Unreal Engine and fit it onto the MetaHuman. So for the importing, we'll make a new folder under MetaHumans. I have a folder here called clothing. I'll call it girl outfit. And then I'll navigate to where I have um, the outfit on my computer. I'll drag it into the content drawer. And then upon importing, you want to set the skeleton to the MetaHuman skeleton. And then I'll press import all. So we've got our model imported here. I'll double click on that skeletal mesh to show it. It now has the basic textures applied uh, that I put onto it in Meta Tailor. I'm gonna take a little while to texture this a little bit better. Um, and I'm gonna speed up that process because uh, it's a little bit, of, a little bit tedious because depending on how much you cleaned up your model, it might have a lot of material tags. <laughs> Something that I always think works a little bit better when creating uh, cloth shaders <laughs> is of course setting the shading model from the fold lid to cloth and then piping the base color into the cloth channel. There's something about the specularity and the roughness of a material like that that will emulate cloth a lot better than just a default shader. I see this is this is a mistake I see used often where the clothes really look like this solid um, object instead of you know cloth.
Once our clothing mesh has been textured, we want to apply it onto the metahuman. So I'm gonna save and close this window. And then I'm going to open our metahuman blueprint. In our metahuman blueprint, I'm going to select the torso component and on the skeletal mesh asset of the torso component, that's where I want to drop the clothing in. So I'm gonna look for our clothing asset and I'm gonna drop it into that skeletal mesh asset. And then we'll see that it has been applied onto our metahuman. We'll compile the metahuman blueprint and save. And now to show you that this does actually work, of course, I'm going to create a new level sequence. What? SK Meta Taylor. I'll grab my Meta Human and drag her into my sequencer, which will then automatically open up the control rig. And if I now navigate to the control rig, um, I will quickly go to global control and set the arm uh, IK switch and now we can see that the clothing follows the metahuman we can also delete this metahuman control rig and just test it with an animation asset. I think I've got something here. All right, this was my tutorial on MetaTailor. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And if you still have any questions left, feel free to leave a comment under the video. And I'll hope to see you next time.